Наше село було рядом з Великим Кучуровом. Our village was near the Ukrainian village of Veliki Kucherev. There is a forest between Yordanesti and Veliki Kucherev. We met in the forest and said, Добрий день, and Ukrainians replied, Buna ziua. They knew a few Romanian words and we knew some Ukrainian. We were happy to meet our neighbors and friends. Mir Chalutik is a poet and a translator. He was born in a Romanian settlement in Bukovina. He learned Ukrainian as a child, but prefers to write his poems in Romanian. He also translates Ukrainian poetry and prose into his native language and vice versa. Mir Chalutik worked on the Ukrainian translation of literary works by Mihai Minescu. Together with other representatives of the Romanian community, Mir Chalutik came to lay flowers by the memorial honoring Eminescu. He was a man of the universe, a man who did a lot for the Ukrainian culture and Ukrainian civilization through his art, articles and philosophical works. He studied the history of the day science and romance. He devoted all his life to this, and his poetic heritage is unmatched in Romanian culture. The Semko family live in a settlement in Bukovina, on the street named after Mihai Eminescu. The couple have been together for 45 years. They used to work at a Romanian school in the region. At home they speak Romanian. <laughs> My father was a musician, he played the trumpet. There was a brass band in our village and he managed it. Dances were held, not modern dances. We preserve our cultural traditions. 99% of the population of the Oproshani village consists of Romanians. In ancient times, a road that connected Western Europe and the Balkans passed through the village. Today, the story of that road is often told at the local Museum of History. It was opened nearly 14 years ago. There are few villages with such ancient history as our Oproshani. We are proud that it's been 600 years since our village was first mentioned in writing. A monument to Moldavian prince Stefan the Great is the pride of the village. His military camp was located near this village in 1497. The residents of Oprusheni preserve their traditions. This performance is a traditional Romanian folk dance. <laughs> At least 12 newspapers in the Chernivtsi region are issued in Romanian. The local radio stations and TV channels have Romanian editorial offices. Festivalul internațional al muzicilor militare aflat la cea de-a 15 ediție reunește anul acesta la Brăi, la România. It is very important to listen daily about the main events in Ukraine in one's native language, Romanian. We now broadcast online and via a satellite. I also listen to Romanian radio, and I see that they don't have a correspondent who would tell about the events in Ukraine. People in Romania don't know about the conflict in eastern Ukraine, about the social, political and cultural situation. That is why we have a very important mission, to tell our audience about this. In June, a new center of Romanian culture opened in Chernivtsi. The School of Traditional Romanian Art will welcome all who wish to learn more about Romanian history and traditions.